well, pretty windy today, but I'm here for testing the Duramo. But wait, wait a minute. We already reviewed the Duramo. This is the new Duramo SL, so let's check it out. As always guys, we're gonna start from the specs. Then they also miss sole and upper. And finally the conclusion. I'll give you my thoughts about uh, the shoe for which training fits better or race and the final scores. It is not a light shoe guys, about 30 grams uh, heavier than the Duramo Speed uh, in the uh, US 10 sides. The drop is higher than in the Duramo Speed, 9.5 millimeters. Even the stack is higher and uh, it has the light motion foam in the midsole which is a new foam different from the light strike unfortunately it doesn't have uh, any torsion system but it has a durable adiwear rubber in the hustle the hustle is a thin layer of adiwear rubber so it's not that thick and rigid and then need your feet so it's comfortable it's soft uh, and uh, yeah, we are in dry conditions, but uh, the grip looks okay, just wet the ground, so not sure about durability yet, uh, but uh, I mean, we are not new about hardware rubber, so we know that it's durable, and uh, yeah, so nothing special, but it does its work. So I'm pretty happy about that and uh, now you can even hear the sound as well. Here we got the midsole guys. As I said it's light motion so it's not light strike form. It's a little bit different. Uh, first feeling is a little bit stiffer and uh, responsive. Uh, of course, it's the first run, uh, so this is our the first impressions. But definitely, I can feel the difference of drop. So here we are around 10 millimeters. In the Duramo speed, uh, is lower, so it's better for your calf, uh, especially for long runs. The impression I have is that uh, it's more responsive when you land in the forefoot. Uh, because it's a little bit stiffer. Let's check the durometer test and the running dynamic. With the durometer I measured more than uh, 51, which is the hardest foam I ever tested so far. And actually you can feel it either in the forefoot uh, or in the heel. So not that comfortable, but more responsive. As always guys, I checked two running dynamics in the initial review. The ground counter time, uh, which gives me an idea of the response in terms of milliseconds. And the vertical oscillation ratio, which gives me an idea of the efficiency of the shoe. And looking at the results, the SL is more responsive than the Duramo Speed. Uh, so the response time is lower in terms of milliseconds and uh, it is also more efficient. So it propels you more forward than up. Especially in comparison with the last track, I believe it's a little bit heavier uh, because overall the shoe is heavier uh, than the Ramo Speed. Yeah, as I said, good grip. I'm happy with it. It's still pretty windy up, if you can hear me. So you look at the upper, uh, it is pretty different than in the Duramo. Uh, it is a single layer mesh uh, and especially in the forefoot doesn't have the overlay material uh, to keep your foot uh, tight well in the forefoot so there is a little bit of uh, uh, forefoot sliding not that much because still uh, it is tight enough uh, to keep it locked but I have to say I prefer the one in the Duramo Speed in this case in terms of durability uh, the forefoot will have some issues probably not sure because it's, it's a single layer mesh it doesn't have uh, all this overlay material uh, that uh, somehow improved the, the duration as well uh, but we will see uh, after the 100 miles review uh, 
uh, looks to be also pretty warm as in the Duramo speed it's not that cold but I feel my feet pretty warm uh, so I believe it's a warm upper so perfect for the winter time in the uh, for cold weather but as I said I prefer the Duramo speed in terms of uh, uh, fit lockdown uh, even the counter the key counter is okay it's pretty similar than in the Duramo speed but it's the four foot side that is that leaves a little bit more room and uh, then it has more uh, uh, foot sliding in the forefoot in comparison to the drum speed and as you know guys I like uh, the shoes that tight pretty well my forefoot especially when you run faster uh, I don't like the foot sliding in the forefoot it's a little bit more than in the drum speed but it's not a deal breaker at all and of course important to remark it's true to size well the colorway is pretty weird this blue uh, I believe I need to get used to it but uh, I like it the tongue is pretty comfortable the length is perfect similar to the tongue in the drum speed and the lacing system is perfect without the rings or this kind of uh, fancy stuff that uh, doesn't last longer this is pretty classical uh, lacing system that I have to say works pretty well uh, same with the Duramo speed and the laces are flat traditional uh, the bigger one and uh, yeah I like it a lot to say as a first impression I believe the light motion is a little bit more responsive than the light strike especially in these shoes I don't know in general but this is the feeling I uh, have today uh, running in the drama cell so especially in the forefoot I believe this shoe could be better for uh, tempo runs and uh, some uh, short interval trainings because the forefoot is stiffer and more responsive in my opinion as we've seen from the running dynamics I prefer the upper in the drama speed because uh, the foot sliding in the forefoot probably with a little bit more upper materials in the forefoot uh, the upper will be perfect the foot lockdown in the heel is perfect I didn't have any uh, issues in the heel during this test yeah I would say I'm pretty happy about uh, the drum myself after the first run so let's check after 100 miles hopefully everything will be fine especially I'm concerned about the upper because this single layer mesh and without uh, overlay material uh, especially in the forefoot uh, could not last uh, in regard to the overall scores I gave one point more uh, than the Duramo speed for the response and one less for the comfort fit and the long run uh, trainings I don't believe the SL is a shoe made for racing therefore the lower scores in the racing temples here considering the price 40 euro I believe it's a great value for money I'm sure I will use it for running uh, 10 to 15 kilometers trainings uh, slow but also I will test in some tempo run and I'll let you know uh, in the another miles review so thank you for the suggestion quite happy about the shoe as always I'm pretty glad that we can test different shoes subscribe if you haven't yet more we are and more shoes I believe I'm gonna be able to review in the future so don't forget to subscribe to share the video with your friends and to activate the notification bell so you will not lose the next video review and update from my side so I hope this video was useful and uh, as always as always thank you for watching guys until the next time keep running so
just looking for hope, yeah I worked on myself, learned a few lessons Without you I spread my wings to the heavens But where did you go when I was down and I needed you most, yeah was long days and long nights battling with demons so tired from the fights yeah i was struggling to make ends meet thought i had you on my team now the feeling's bittersweet uh cause i look back now and it looks different i was trying to win for us but you had a different name.